Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to handle a soft AP Wi-Fi event using the SP32 and Arduino core. As target port I'm going to be using a Fire Beetle board from DFROB. So in some of the previous videos we have covered how to handle uh, Wi-Fi events when the SP32 is acting as a station and then it connects to a Wi-Fi network. And we saw, for example, how to handle the event uh, when the connection occurs, uh, then when an IP address is assigned to the SP32 and that network. Nonetheless, as you know, the SP32 can also act uh, or operate in soft access point mode, uh, meaning that it can host a Wi-Fi network to which other devices can connect. Thus, this is still related with the Wi-Fi stack. We also have some Wi-Fi events associated uh, with this operation, operating mode. In our case, for this tutorial where we are uh, doing for the first time tackling soft AP related uh, Wi-Fi events, we are going to see how to respond to the event that is triggered when the station connects. So I believe this event is very useful because when we are working in uh, soft AP mode, there might be some use cases where we want to detect when a device connects and uh, these uh, event handling capabilities that we have in the Arduino core uh, will allow us to detect those events. So th this is pretty much the introduction, so we are going to jump right into the code, which as we'll see is really simple. So the first thing we are going to do is including the Wi-Fi.edge library, so we have access to this Wi-Fi external variable that we have been extensively using uh, in previous videos when we want to connect the SP32 to a Wi-Fi network. And this is also used when we want to, uh, to configure it to work uh, in soft access point mode. Then uh, we are going to skip here the handling function declaration and we are going to jump right to the setup function where we start as usual to open a serial connection so we are able to output the results of our program. Then we are going to um, set up the SP32 to work as soft AP and basically to start a network uh, to which other devices can connect. So this is done simply uh, by calling this soft AP method on the Wi-Fi external variable and as input, we simply need to pass here the network name. And basically, the SP32 will then set up a network with this name. Optionally, you can also specify a password, so uh, we protect that network and uh, devices can only connect to it if they specify a password. But since for now our focus is just on um, checking how to handle the event of a station connected, it doesn't matter if we have a password or not, so to keep things simple, we'll leave the network open. Then, uh, in order to register an event handling function, because for each event we want to, uh, to treat, basically we need to specify a function where inside we'll have our handling code, uh, we can do this, uh, this, binding, this binding by calling the onEvent method on our Wi-Fi external variable, and we pass as first input uh, the callback function that will be executed when the event happens. We're going to call this one Wi-Fi station connected, and then a second output we pass an enumerated value uh, that pretty much corresponds to the identifier of the event we want to handle. In this case, uh, the, this identifier is called system underscore event underscore AP underscore STA connected. Okay, so pretty much the name describes that it, it will be uh, the event when the station connects to the network. So after this, the only thing that is missing um, is, is pretty much um, checking the implementation of the handling function. Uh, which, as you can see here, is very simple, and it all, it uh, follows a predefined signature like we have seen um, in the previous tutorial. So the signature is still the same. It returns void, and it receives um, a data structure of this type: Wi-Fi event underscore t, and another data structure: Wi-Fi event inf underscore t. We are not going to use it here, uh, but this is a, the signature that it always needs to follow. And then inside, we just do whatever we want. Um, in terms of handling the event. In our case, since we are just getting started, what we are going to do uh, is printing this message indicating uh, that the station uh, has connected. Since all of this uh, will be triggered asynchronously, anytime a station connects, we don't need to do anything here in the loop function for our simple use case. So I've already uploaded the code to my SP32, and as you can see here, I've already done some tests um, and connecting here a station to the network. Just going to leave a note that at that time I've recorded this, there is an issue in the Arduino core that when a station connects, it prints here this debugging message. 
Uh, I'll leave the, the link for the, the issue in GitHub so you can track it. Uh, but other than that, everything is working fine. And as you can see here, I'm opening here my connections and I'm going to connect to this um, to this uh, to, to to the soft uh, to the network that the SP32 um, is hosting, and as I, as you could see, here, even though in my computer it's team, it seems it is still connecting, but in terms of events, uh, the SP32 already detected that the station has connected. And that's it, very simple, so it offers a very flexible way for us um, to be able to detect the connection of uh, stations. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.